Hey everybody, it's Ted from Mob Rules. So I made a video a long time ago and um, the battery died on my microphone, so I lost all the audio, which was kind of nice, but kind of lame. Uh, kind of nice because um, I tend to ramble on a bit and so it would have been like 15 hours long. Um, so that's fortunate, but unfortunately I lost the audio. So um, I'm just gonna give you the visuals uh, and maybe throw in a key piece of information once in a while. Uh, and find some free music to play in the background. So that's what we're gonna do. So the project, um, my buddy, I, I was making some servo arms for my iron hands. Um, I was doing some bikers. And my buddy Justin, um, the, down in Georgia, he asked for a, a tutorial. So this is what I made. Uh, and now almost a year later, this is what I made. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, take a run through it. Uh, hopefully it'll make some sense. I'll try to get all the materials in the comments below. So if you're looking for parts numbers or whatever, uh, go there. A lot of times I try to take pictures of them uh, so they're in the video itself, um, but I don't think it always happens. So I'll, I'll, I'll try to give you a parts rundown. Um, and. You know, with all this, um, they're not, it's not entirely necessary to get the exact one. So like, you know, if you go up a scale or down a scale, you know, it's still going to look good. It's just going to be bigger or smaller. So, um, yeah, it's just kind of what I did. Uh, and it's, it's worked out. I like them. People like them. So anyway, let's go take a look and we'll talk about it later.
Well, um, so like I said, uh, I did this a long time ago, so this is kind of the follow-up to it. Um, I mean, back in the day, uh, this guy uh, was just gray and white. So I did paint him actually quite a few months ago. Uh, he's not finished yet, but um, anyway, you can kind of see that uh, the other one, the other arm that I was working on um, right here. So uh, this was the, the example. I shouldn't say it was the one I was working on, but it was the example. And this one became the, uh, the arm. So uh, yeah, let's take a look at it. It's uh, painted as you can see so all done so a couple things that I did that I didn't uh, that I did after the video um, I put this hose on here and I put this uh, little sight um, I started to go into it in the video um, but it was all talky and didn't really give you uh, much of a, a rationale uh, and where it came from so this is just the site from the Imperial Guard mortar I can't remember where this hose came from, but chances are you're going to run across a lot of those <laughs> extra bits. Um, so there it is. Um, and so one of the things that I did with these uh, arms, because, you know, because iron hands, um, was that I kind of left them unattached. Uh, with this one, I just put like a bunch of uh, blue tack or white tack in there. I think ultimately what I'll do is I'll put some magnets because, um, uh, you know, I want to be able to swap them out for other things um here's a dreadnought that i did i think i showed you guys this or it's 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 shown up in videos before um so then it just slots in there really nicely i can take it out uh it's kind of a friction fit um but i think it looks hella fly hella fly for a white guy um so yeah what do you think i know i usually say ah oh, it's easy it kind of is um, it's not really the skill that, uh, makes it look good, but it's just the time. It's the diligence, you know, so if you're willing to put in the time to make it look good, it's going to look good. Um, you know, so it's, it, I don't think it takes a particular, um, set of, you know, it's not like painting where you have to hone your craft. I mean, you're definitely going to be picking up some things, but mostly it's just time and, and vision and looking at things in your world and, uh, a little bit differently and then, uh, kind of going from there. So... Anyway, um, try to, oh yeah, try to replicate it. Okay. That's it. I hope this worked out for you. Um, and, uh, I want to hear what you guys came up with. If you have, uh, other tutorials that you've seen that you really liked, um, whether it's servo arms or whatever, and you want to see my take on it, uh, please reply, uh, down below. Also, you can go onto our Facebook page and, um, maybe leave some comments there. Take some photos. Oh, I really want to see your guys' work. Um, I'm just, I'm inspired by everybody, you know, I look at. So, you know, sometimes it's something simple, um, you know, like an arm swap or something. I'm like, wow, gosh, all I have to do is turn the elbow around? Holy cow. Um, and sometimes it's an amazing piece of work, like uh, uh, Ian Waz. Um, but, you know, anyway. So that's it. Uh, let me know if you like these. I'll try to crank out some more. I got a little shell shock from the last one since I lost the audio and it became a nightmare of editing. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I hope you dig it. I hope it inspires you. Alright, see you later.